applying to medical school, then you probably know that it's a great idea to have some shadowing hours as part of your experience and your overall application. But a lot of students want to know just how many shadowing hours do they need to get into medical school? And so that's what I'll be talking about today. First, hi, my name is Dr. Sarah Klebe and I'm an admissions expert at BMO. So the question of how many shadowing hours you need unfortunately isn't a question with an easy or a single answer. There isn't a clear cut number. And I know that makes things more difficult. It would be easy if I could just say uh, 50 hours will do it, 100 hours will do it. And some schools do have specific requirements, uh, 12 to 24, 50 or more, 120, et cetera. So you can check with the particular school, check their requirements to see what exactly they expect um, and take that into consideration as you apply. If there are schools that have a minimum number of hours, then you can just figure out what the top number of hours would be and aim at that as a minimum. So that way, you know, if one school says you need to have 50 or more and the others say, you know, you need 12 to 24 and uh, two others maybe have no requirements at all, well, then you know to aim it to for uh, 50 as a minimum. And that way you'll have all of those smaller requirements covered. In the absence of any specific requirement at a particular school, the best advice that you can get is do as much as you can. You don't need thousands of hours, despite what some people on uh, pre-med forums and things like that might say. And as importantly, you have to ensure that you're handling your other loads effectively. You have to handle your course load effectively. If you're working, you need to handle that effectively, volunteering, extracurricular, uh, and you'll also want to ensure that you get some clinical experience if possible, uh, which is different from shadowing. Clinical experience tends to be more active and partial as opposed to shadowing experiences, which are passive, but more sort of all encompassing, giving you a fuller idea of what the, you know, n well, I would say nine to five, but it's more like, you know, <laughs> uh, eight to seven or whatever the, uh, the hour block is, but a, a good idea of what all of the minutia and the in and outs of an average physician's day actually are. And having a little bit of both clinical and shadowing is best. But having hundreds or even thousands of shadowing hours isn't going to mean much if your GPA takes a dip because of it, or if it means that you have to cut down on other kinds of experiences that are just as important. So, you know, if you feel like you have to put a number on it as a way of, you know, giving you something to aspire towards, 100 to 120 hours is a good solid referent. Uh, if you shadow one doctor for one day, that's going to be approximately 10 hours. So if you shadow a range of doctors for a total of 12 days spread over time, maybe even over six months to a year, then you're easily going to hit that target. Make sure that you're shadowing in a range of specialties if you're able to do so. Um, you don't necessarily need to do a different specialty or a different doctor on every single uh, shadowing occasion. And if you're particularly interested in one area, then it's fine to shadow one doctor or multiple doctors in one specialization for several days. Again, potentially spread out over time so that you're not overtaxing yourself. Um, but do ensure that even if you're, you know, you feel quite sure that there's one area that you want to go into, still try to get exposure to a few different areas. Uh, different kinds of doctors have different kinds of responsibilities and thus different kinds of work days. Family medicine and emergency medicine are very different kinds of days. Cardiology and gynecology are very different kinds of specializations, which again mean very different kinds of days. Um, 
create, if nothing else, a short list of specializations that interest you and see if you can get shadowing experience for at least three of those. If there are five things that you think you might want to pursue, try to get at least three of those uh, if you can so that you can see what the ins and outs are like. Often these specializations look quite different uh, from the outside than they do from the inside. And if you're going to be devoting your life to this, then obviously you want to know what you're in for on a day-to-day -day basis. So, you know, ultimately, what you get and how well you articulate what you get from shadowing experiences is far more important than the specific number of hours, unless, again, any of the schools to which you're applying do have actual shadowing hours requirements. Use your shadowing experience in your AMCAS activities, your personal statement, your secondary essays, whatever your application materials are, as a way of highlighting your curiosity and your investment into medicine as a career, of demonstrating some key qualities and core competencies that you yourself possess, to discuss particularly meaningful events or interactions you witnessed, and what all of that means for your drive to follow this particular profession as your career path. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. If so, please do go ahead, like it, share it with a friend who might benefit from it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube so you don't miss out on any great videos. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram and look for us on a variety of other social media. If you'd like us to help you, click the link that should appear either above or below this video to see our programs and schedule your free initial consultation. We'll set you up with one of our admissions experts to answer any questions you might have and get you started on your preparation. We have programs to suit any of your needs, and we're always happy to work with you to determine which plan is going to support you and your goals most effectively. As ever, thank you so very much for your time. Take good care, and I'll see you next time.